brought to you by jmulkmedia.com. Saving you time, telling your story. Personal video editing at your convenience, jmulkmedia.com. Have you ever wanted to make an amazing church bulletin, but you're stuck with ordering bulletin covers that may not perfectly fit your goal or your vision, or you just maybe have hundreds of leftovers that you're just stuck with? You want to fine tune it each week or for each sermon series or just each month even? Uh, So I want to show you how to do that through Microsoft Word and through the platform called Canva. So let's dive in. So we utilize Microsoft Word, and I just open up a new Word file, and very quickly you realize that this is just a single sheet of paper. (laughs) And bulletins come in booklet format, or most do. So we're going to change our layout. So click on Layout up here, Orientation, Landscape. Great! Now we have the foldable layout that we need but again we just have a single sheet of paper bulletins have a front cover and inside and back cover so we need to add a page so we're going to go to insert on the upper left hand corner add a blank page here great now what do we do we create our order of service separately right here and this is approved by the staff and through the volunteers and all the things that make our service what it is and special. And we want to copy and paste this into our bulletin, but we're not just going to just copy and paste it straight up. So we're going to add a text box. So we're again going to go back into insert, add text box. We're going to draw a text box, and we're going to try to line this up right from the upper left-hand corner down so we can get the middle of the page. Right about there. Great. We have our first text box, but we want to copy it and paste it and match it up. And we want to make sure it lines up right into the middle of the page. And the way to check that is on the ruler icon or the ruler bar at the top. We're going to find the middle of our page, which is at this point with the layout the way it is, four and a half. We're going to click on it and hold, and look at that, right down the middle. Great. So now I'm going to go back to my order of service, and I'm going to copy what I think will fit in the first half of the inset pages of the bulletin. I think we can go all the way to here. Copy that, and I'm going to paste it. Format's a little bit funky because it's a little bit tighter. First things first, I'm going to center that. And now we have all of these additional lines where the whoever was presenting the element of the service, their name is at. So I'm going to make sure that that gets back to the same line here. This is a bulletin for a Presbyterian church, so we definitely... Definitely have liturgy to work with, not just a responsive call to worship, but a call to confession. So I'm going to go back to our order of service and grab the second half of this. I'm going to skip the leader note. We don't need that. Let's head over to the prayer of confession and all the remaining text. Really formatted poorly. Get that going here. Great. You notice that we have these asterisks on some of the lines, and for our service, that will indicate for people on when to stand and when to sit. Asterisks meaning to please stand if you are able. But why am I getting rid of them? You notice that with the asterisks on the sentence line itself, it pushes the header of the sentence in, and your lines aren't smooth. And I'm going to go back into our handy-dandy Insert tab, text box, draw, text box, and I am going to make it nice and narrow. And I am going to hit shift in the number eight to get an asterisk. And I'm going to put these where I know they should go for items that will be standing. But big issue is hiding the text. So what do you do with that? Double click the line, go to no fill, go to no line, and now, whoops, now you have an invisible box with your asterisks on it. 
I'm going to zoom in a little bit, make this a little bit easier to move around because there's a, quite a few of these that we need to place in our bulletin. I'm going to copy it and paste. I'm going to scroll back out, zoom back out. And I'm going to do that same trick with our main text box. No fill, no line, no fill, no line. And voila, we have a beautiful bulletin. Nice and easy to read. Fonts is nice and large for those that have trouble seeing. But we have a huge empty space that we need to find something to do with. And we do something really cool here. We utilize this empty space most of the time with something that we want to call pe people's attention to. And why not put your mission statement here? And since this is a Sunday crowd and they're on their way out back home, uh, we're just going to rephrase it ever so slightly to uh, produce it as more of a call going forward throughout the rest of the week. I'm actually going to make it a little bit bigger. There we go. It looks great. The next thing I'm going to do to fill up the remaining portion of this space is acknowledge our leaders for today. This is a really fun and easy thing to do, and it really pays dividends for your volunteers. It gets their name out there, and we get to acknowledge all the hard work they are doing. Make sure everything is spelled correctly. All right. And I'm going to add one more text box. Again, we have our asterisks on when to stand. And we're just going to clarify officially what that is and what they are used for. Add a text box. Shift, hit the number 8. Indicates an invitation to stand if able. Double click my box, no fill, no line, move it where it needs to go. Okay, now we can work on our cover and our back cover. Uh, again, we utilize a program called Canva, and the Canva is an amazing platform that uh, gives you the option to create graphics and different type of documents and presentations. And the coolest thing about it for church purposes is that they do have a nonprofit program where you get a discounted price and then also it allows you to create a team within that discounted nonprofit group that you that you have and so our whole staff can see exactly what we are making and they can jump in and make edits or they could pull it and download it and use it for different functions such as the presentation on the projector or if you utilize TVs in your lobby, or even social media. So you can all grab the same graphics, and it's just a tremendous, tremendous asset. So we're going to go to our bulletin and inserts. And we already have our cover made for this week. Bulletin cover. Our group has made this already, and it's one of those things where uh, I can just go in because I'm making the bulletin and I can grab it. Go to our slides. This same image is also on our presentation slide. And this is the slide that we'll be presenting during the sermon um, projected on screen. So you see that the same image is used for both the bulletin and the, the presentation slide. So you have very nice and consistent crossover. Now, with, now that we're here, all we need to do is hit the share icon, hit download, I am going to download it as a PNG file because we have a white background. We just have this image in the text. Uh, and I'm going to hit transparent background. I'm going to increase the size a bit. And I'm going to pull it over to my Word doc. Drag it in. And wait, oh no! It just pushed all my text down. Not a big deal. Double click on the image. Hit wrap text, upper right. And now you have to put it in front of text. You're going to put the image in front of the text, which puts everything back exactly where it was. Phenomenal. And I'm going to move this now. I know that 
our printer does not do bleed printing, um, so there is a bit of a gap on the edges where it doesn't print. And so I'm going to stretch this out to where I think it is now in the middle of that first half of the page. And again, I'm going to use this box here to kind of make sure I'm on the right track because we know that this is centered, so we want this to be centered off that. So I'm using this box, and I see it's slightly to the right, or to the left. So I'm going to move this over. Now it jumps. So I'm going to zoom in, make this transition a little bit easier. Zooming in on a Word doc allows you to really do some subtle adjustments on your placement. That looks pretty good. Okay. So now we have our bulletin cover. We do a cool thing with the back of our bulletins. We highlight the, the scripture that is referenced in the sermon, or at least a portion of it, and we put it on the back page or the back cover, and then we just simply ask a question that we want to ask our congregation as they go about their week. So I'm going to go back into Canva, since this is already made, bulletin back cover, and there it is. And I'm going to do the same process here, download it as a... PNG file, make it a little bit bigger, transparent background, and I'm going to drag it in. But before I do that, I, I wanted to highlight this. If you see a typo, you can jump in and say, you know, say that this is the start of verse 14, and you copied and pasted it from Bible Gateway, because we all do, and they put the verse number in there, but it's the only one that was left. Someone missed deleting it, and you saw it. Oh, oh dear. So I'm just going to double-click in there and get rid of it. Even though I didn't make this, this insert or I didn't make this image, I can go in and edit the image just like that. So again, I'm going to download it, which we already did. We also like to put our office hours on the back of the bulletin. You can do whatever you wish to do, but we have that already ready-made. Oh no, how do I get it? It put it behind my images, that's okay. I don't wanna mess with this one since that one's already, we've, we've set it. So I'm just gonna shrink this one down and then grab this guy. Double click it again in front of text. Now I can move it freely. Okay, I wanna be aware of my borders here. And then I shrink it down to where I believe the middle of the page is. And I'm gonna do that trick here Zoom in. Looks a little bit to the right, so move it to the left. Now a little bit too far. Great. That looks good. Now this is a little too small here, so I'm going to drag this to where I want it. Okay. Hey. Look at that. We have a lovely church bulletin. Well, that was it. I hope you were encouraged by this quick little video tutorial about using Microsoft Word in Canva. Um, again, just a quick, easy way to make a pretty clean and beautiful church bulletin.